Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, but I'm so, so happy to be back in action. I'll have a vlog later this week that explains where I've been a little bit, so keep an eye out for that. But today we are gonna be doing some bite-sized reviews on some brand new makeup that's been coming out, some super hot launches that I've tried, and I'm gonna be talking about some favorites that I've been using off camera, but haven't had a chance to talk about yet. So if you wanna see some mini reviews on some new products and some of my favorites that I've been using off camera, then sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so to start things out, we're gonna start with a new product from Too Faced. This is the new Too Faced Plump and Prime Luxury Face Plumping Primer Serum. Whoa, that is a mouthful. But this product is absolutely stunning. The glass is so heavy, it feels really luxe. This pump is beautiful. And the product itself is really interesting. It's a super, super silky, silky consistency. It leaves the skin looking extremely glowy and dewy. It is so beautiful. The thing with this, there is, of course, some fragrance. It's Too Faced. This has beautiful natural oils in it that just make your foundation slip onto the skin and give you a really effortless just glow. It's not super overly dewy, but it really does just give you this like stunning, I just came from a facial kind of glow to the skin. I am so, so into this, loving this. And another product from Too Faced that I should talk about that I've been pairing this with and obsessed with, it is the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I got this in the shade Vanilla. Y'all, this is the tea. Okay, this is so fucking good. It is blown my mind. So start things off, this is the foundation I've been reaching for lately. If I'm leaving the house and I still wanna wear some glam makeup but I have to wear a mask because this is fully, fully mask proof, okay? At least in my experience, this is the only foundation I've been able to wear lately that I can literally have a mask on and off, on and off, on and off, in and out of the car, running around multiple errands and this still looks absolutely sick. Stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. It's definitely a little more matte. So if you're drier skinned like myself, I'm like normal to dry, you definitely, definitely wanna prime the skin well, which here steps in this. This is beautiful with this foundation. This coupling is amazing. But as long as you're using just a generally like hydrating primer or you just have really well prepped skin, this is going to look beautiful. Medium to full coverage all around just knocked it out of the park. I love the original Born This Way, but I think this one is climbing ahead of that one super fast. Okay, the next product I'm gonna be talking about is the new range of M Cosmetics Serum Blushes. Okay, I have one gripe about these, so I'm just gonna get it out of the way. I don't know if I'm the only one who's had this issue, but I have an insanely hard time getting the product out of this packaging. So I'm just gonna take like the peachy shade here. I'm just gonna like, Pump, pump, pump. Okay, I got three solid pumps. I'll pull it out. One more pump. Let's get it in there. And then I come to drop it out. And oh, okay, now it's gonna, well, kind of. Like I literally get like one smidgen of product. This dropper just like does not work. I've had an insanely hard time getting this product just out of the packaging. And that goes for both of them. I thought maybe this was just a bunk pump, so I tried this one and I'm having the same problem. So I really hate that, but I do really wanna shout these out for the incredible formula. So I picked up the shades Peachy Peach and Venetian Rose. These are both part of the new collection, the new launch. The formula is a dewy skin dream. Okay, if you want this ethereal, super glowy, wet skin, model face, blush. This is the one you reach for, y'all. It is so beautiful. The oils she uses in these just make your skin look like a juiced up fantasy. So I'm so obsessed. I've been wearing the shade Peachy Peach like all the time. It's just like a true bright peach color. So beautiful, especially during the summer. Venetian Rose, I'm sure I'm gonna reach for this all the time during winter. I plan on pairing this with my Rose Ekrin blush from Chanel and I am so excited. I'm sure it's gonna be the perfect combination. Okay, the next product, we are gonna talk about the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. This is brand new. So before I even start, I'm gonna put up a picture of the shade range really fast. Okay, let me put that up. 
Okay. So. Who the fuck at Clinique thought that was chill? Like, what the fuck are you doing? What a trash shade range. Trash, 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 trash. I literally bought this because I was like, they must think this product is fucking gold if they think they can ignore an entire group of people. They're like, oh, we don't need their money. We're not even, we're not worried about it. This product is fucking bad. Like so fucking bad. Okay, one, this bogus ass packaging with a stupid sponge that I will never use. Guess what? This top piece comes off so fucking easy. It falls off constantly. So eventually it's just gonna look like this all the time. Some dirty ass sponge. Ew, no thank you. Second, the doe foot was really nice. It's got this like kind of rounded tip at the end so it holds a decent amount of product. However, the product in and of itself is a creasy fucking mess. The coverage was fine, it blended out okay, but oh my God, this creased like an absolute nightmare. Made me look a thousand years older than I was. I thought, okay, I'll try it again. I'll try with less powder. I'll try a little less product. Nope, still creased, still looked like shit. So this is going back. I got to order it for like one day. It was like available for 24 hours because it was a platinum perk at Ulta. And this is absolute garbage. Oh my gosh, I'm not only returning it, um, I just like want to give a big fuck you to Clinique because who do you think you are? Like actually, who do you think you are? Okay, yeah. now I want to talk about a couple products that I reviewed and did first impressions on on my channel, but I haven't talked about since. The first is the ever controversial Becca Zero Foundation. Here's the tea with this. I actually still really like this product. I've used it as a primer. I've used it just by itself. What I've really found I love this for is, I can't find the product now where I would show you both of them. Um, I use this with my Charlotte Tilbury Unisex Healthy Glow. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I use those in combination. I'll put this on first and then I use that product and it literally makes my skin look perfect. Like, like not, oh, full coverage foundation, glam perfect. Like, it makes my face look perfect. So I still really like this Becca Zero foundation. I'm not gonna say this, Becca Zero Virtual Skin Perfector. That's what I think it should have been called. But I still really like this. Big thumbs up on this guy still. And then the Huda Beauty, the Legit Lashes Mascara. I actually really, really like this as well. The only issue I have is the volumizing end is a little big for my like teeny tiny little lashes. Um, so that's a little bit of an issue. I have to be a little careful, but this curling and lengthening end with like this curved brush, it is literally so, so perfect for my tiny baby eyes. To just give me that separation, that length. This is so, so good. I normally reach into two different mascaras, but because of this, I've been able to only use one and it has been a lifesaver. So Huda Beauty, the legit lashes, if you can get your hands on it, definitely do. All right, on to my last couple products. These are products I've been using off camera, but I haven't talked about on camera, but I've been really loving them. The first is actually another one from Too Faced. This is the new Primed and Poreless Pore Blurring and Mattifying Face Powder, okay? So this is a product that previously existed in the line, but they repackaged, reformulated, and y'all, they really did kill it this time. So this is not a setting powder, okay? Let me repeat this again not a setting powder. This is a finishing powder and there's a huge, huge difference, okay? So I've tried to set my face with this and it does not work, just doesn't work. So you wanna use your regular setting powder, stuff like that. I do my entire face of makeup. I mean everything, like it appears and I'm done. Then I take a brush, I tap it in this, just super lightly and just dust it across your face. And what this powder does, it smooths the skin it makes your pores look non-existent. It makes your texture look less noticeable. It is so, so good at just making the skin look stunning without disturbing anything underneath it. So once I figured out how to use this as like a finishing powder, I have been so, so obsessed and telling so many people about this. So get out there and get your hands on this powder, y'all. It is so beautiful. Hasn't given me any flashback yet. I love it so, so much. So Too Faced, they're, they're killing it lately for me. And the last two products I wanna shout out are two palettes actually from Anastasia. The first one, these are both older, they're not newer. The first one is the Alyssa Edwards palette. You guys, I am just still so obsessed with this. It is just such a fun, colorful story. I love Alyssa Edwards as well. I have gotten the most beautiful looks out of this and more compliments on this in like the few times I've worn it lately than most other shadows. I like. Some, like occasionally a person will be like, oh, that looks cute. But no, people were literally like, I'm walking across the street on the plaza and this girl was like, what's that eyeshadow? So 
Loving this so, so much. This palette is so beautiful, so, so fun. You can get some color, you got some neutrals. Knocked it out of the park. And the second palette, another one from ABH. This is the Jackie Ina palette, you guys. I slept on this. I did not pick this up right away. I did not think it was my thing. I love Jackie, but I looked at this and I was like, I don't know, I don't know if I need it. I was wrong. So I'm wearing this on my eyes today. It's appearing when I'm looking at the camera because I have some natural light coming in. It's washing out this side. It looks like I don't have as much darkness on this outer corner, but I swear they're symmetrical, but I'm wearing this on my eyes today. It is so beautiful. This palette is out of this world. I'm begging you, Anastasia, make this permanent. This is just so good. Jackie killed this. This looks good on literally everyone I've seen wear it. So many eye looks. It pushed me to like be a little versatile, try something new. It's just so, so good. So shout out to these two palettes for pushing me out of my comfort zone and helping me have a lot of fun in this super boring quarantine. But that brings us to the end of today's video. If you like what you saw today and you wanna see more content like this, don't forget, comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Give me a thumbs up, it helps me out so, so much. Click on my face, you can subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can see every time I post something new. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all.